at my eating a piece of bread. <laughs> Where are you going? Huh? What are you doing there? Huh? Eating a piece of bread? Where'd baby go? Where'd the baby go? Huh? Okay. Watch you come this way. As soon as he gets done with that piece. <laughs> Look how big he is. It's a big one. There's a bunny here the other day. These are my um only only real physical friends that I have because I'm a target of what is known as organized stalking and organized stalking targets uh are isolated by the perpetrators. Check this guy out. That's the big guy. That's the male. I believe that's the male right there. Watch their when it comes to their food, boy, I tell you, they sure do, uh, they sure do get territorial. Here you come. Get him. He's a big one. That's got to be the male. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetie. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing there? Watch, they're going to chase each other. They're pretty smart. Girls are smart. You got uncomfortable. Probably because the bicyclist that just went by. Let's see who else is out here today. Dang, it's a bird. I had a bunny over here the other day. It was a trip. It was really funny. I had a bunny over there. Literally, uh, check this out. The other day I had a bunny literally over there. He wouldn't get too close though. But I knew it was a bunny because I could see him perfectly. And then I had two squirrels. I had a bunny over there eating the bread because I threw him some. And then uh, I had two squirrels over here eating their bread. And then I had a bird that was in between the squirrels. And then I had birds over here eating their bread. It was like living in a paradise. They're my babies. I feed them every morning. I buy that really, really, really cheap bread. You know, I wish I could afford more, but I can't. So, I buy the, um, what I do is I go to the, uh, I go to the dollar, you know, like the 50 cent rack and the dollar rack at Ralph's, and I buy, like, the 47 cent loaf spread, and, uh, and then I divvy it up, I put it, and I made this bird, see this bird feeder up here, that makeshift bird feeder I made right there, that's sitting right there, it's a bowl, <laughs> I creatively made that for my birdies, and, uh, and, uh, this is the bowl of bread right here. And then I take the end pieces from it, and I put it in this bowl, and that, that, that gets fed for the squirrels. But the baby squirrel is smart. See, the baby squirrel, he'll just eat. Check this out. The baby squirrel, hang on a second, I'm trying to get this lid off. The baby squirrel, he'll just eat, he'll just eat the bread that, that's right here. He won't eat the end piece. And he won't eat the sides. The adult squirrels are, are, are well, they've been around long enough to, to know hunger, okay? The baby squirrel, he started coming by when he was only about... Let's see, when he was only about that big. Boy, this zoom is really... He was. He started coming about when he was only about that big. So I think that he's been just spo spoiled. Uh, that's my favorite bird right there. Check him out. He's cool as hell. Hi, baby. <laughs> he's chasing off the other birds. <laughs> he's got a mean disposition. And, uh... I wouldn't necessarily call it mean. I would just call it, like, uh, territorial. Check him out. Watch And, uh, I wake up to this, I wake up to this beautifulness every morning. And, you know, I'm hiking in California, I'm saving for a mobile home, I'm, tar I'm a target victim and activist of what is known as organized stalking. And I make the best of the situation, and you can go to Google and discover that organized stalking, uh, perpetrators, one of their main, main methods is to create homelessness of targets done through multiple means, uh, property owners, landlords, post employees, mail off the mail, the layman of rent. And it's all over the internet that they create homelessness of targets. Hang on a second. And uh, a lot of targets, they go through seven or eight apartments before they finally just give up. And all of that can be extensively Googled. There you go. So I wake up to this beautiful situation every morning. And I make the best of it. And I'm grateful for what I got. And I keep my, my, my thinking right concerning the situation, you know. I try not to let the depression get to me or any uh, anger or resentment get to me because... I know that my Heavenly Father is protecting me. I know He's watching out for me. 
Okay, thank you for listening and have a nice day. This is what I wake up to every morning, the birds and the squirrels. It's so precious. Okay, thanks for listening. Have a nice day.